Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I just want to talk about Liverpool's fan base. Now, I want to talk about this because I've not had some great experiences the last 12 days. As a lot of people on you know, social media and YouTube might know I'm not an FSG out guy. Not necessarily an FG, FSG in guy either, but for some reason my views really get up on people and I have no idea why. For the last 10 days I'd say I've had about 20 DMs. Um, basically very nasty stuff. Just because I have completely different views to other people. But my views are my views. They're my opinions. If you don't like it, you don't have to listen to me. It's all cool. I don't like some of your opinions. Don't mean I ever get you about it. But this FSG, FSG out is really... It's hurting the fan base quite a lot now. And it's, it's got to stop. It's got to stop. And being called a top red or a middle red. What a load of stupid nonsense this is. I, mean, I don't even know what a top red is. Look, I'm 40 years old. And I think people our age group, around my age group, because we're not FSG out, we're not FSG in. We just want to talk about the football. That's all we want to talk about. Yes, our owners should have got a couple of players in, in the summer transfer market. Go, can I? But they didn't. Let's just get on with it now. It is what it is. And... Let's just support the team now, support the manager, support the club, let's just get on with it. This has got to stop guys. It's getting really silly. You can't go on Twitter especially and have a decent conversation with anyone on there anymore about Liverpool because they bring up stupid stuff. I see so many people in comments saying that players like, you might like James Milner, it's like James Milner's 36, what's he still doing at the club and all this nonsense. It's got, it's got to stop. Just support the club that we all love. And what if Liverpool... Well, I, will, I will say this for everyone who is really down at the moment about Liverpool Football Club, especially the FG outers who are really hating on everything. And I don't mind you hating on things. It's all about opinions football. But when we're debating, you've got to take in what people are trying to tell you. You don't have to agree with it. But there's just no listening. So I say this. What if Liverpool win either the league or Champions League this season? One or the other. What then? What are we all going to say then? What we'll pro what some will say is all down to Jurgen Klopp. Jurgen Klopp's a genius. And it's down to his magic. And yeah, Jurgen Klopp is a genius. There's no doubt about that. Absolutely no doubt about that whatsoever. But... He's also a genius with the team. He's not got a, a rubbish team here, guys. Everyone keep, all I keep hearing is it's Jurgen Klopp who's won all this, not FSG and all that. And that's, yeah, of course, that's fine to say. I have no problem. But it's not like Jurgen Klopp has got Brighton's team and he's winning things with Brighton's team. He's got a very, very good team. He's got some of the best players in the world in their position, in his team. That is why we are successful at this moment in time. Let's not forget when Jurgen Klopp first came in. First two or three years weren't very successful. He was building the side. Now, a lot of people look at Tuchel. Came in, if he wins the Club World Cup at Christmas time, I think he equals Klopp's record for trophies already. And he's only been in the club less than a year. Yet, the difference is, when Jurgen Klopp came to Liverpool, he didn't have nowhere near the team Tuchel took over at Chelsea, or the funds to make it even better. So yes, Jurgen Klopp has done an amazing, amazing, amazing job, and he's a world-class manager, for me the best manager in world football. And he is going to make things better, but he has got a very good team to do that at the same time. So, Liverpool fans, let's just all get back to loving each other, loving the club, loving watching us play. We've got a big game against Leeds on Sunday. That's going to be a big game, especially with the 
The way Leeds play, I expect goals, goals, goals in that game. Um, I expect us to win that game quite comfortably, to be fair. I mean, just hearing now with the FIFA trying to ban all Brazilian players, I mean, that ain't going to happen because with COVID, there's no rule. So I expect all clubs, Man City, Leeds, Liverpool, I think they will uh, be able to field their players. But even if we can't, Alisson and uh, Fabinho miss out, Kelleher comes in. And you know, you can play midfield of Ox, Henderson and Thiago. That midfield should be fine behind Salah, Jota or Amale. But you say this on social media and you go, oh my God, we've got to play Ox, we're doomed, all this. Can we stop? I just want that to stop. I want us to enjoy the game, enjoy watching Liverpool again. And so we get a good win this weekend and then going to the Champions League and against Milan. So it's just a quick video from me today, guys. I just want love back in the community. Everyone has stopped bickering. Yes, I've had DMs. Some of the DMs I've had, guys, have been horrible. Really, really nasty DMs. And I can take it. It don't bother me. I just block you. And uh, I never have to read it again. You know, you're just perfect human beings. But there's people out there that can't do that. And they get... It really, really affects them. And we need to look out for these people. At the end of the day, guys, if something happens to somebody because of your because of DMs, it can be a crime. So let's just be nice, guys, yeah? Love and harmony. Let's watch Liverpool. Let's hope we win on Sunday. You never walk alone. Peace out.